Hey guys, this is Corey with Custom RV in Amarillo, Texas, and today I'm doing a video walkthrough tour of a 2020 R Pod by Forest River Model 171. Uh, it is their smallest non slide out unit. Uh, it comes in at 2,350 pounds unloaded and is 18 foot in overall length. We're going to take a minute and go uh, over the interior features and then we'll jump back outside and take a look at some of the exterior features and uh, as well as cover you know why the R pods are one of the most popular small travel trailers out there and uh, give you some of the reasons why you should consider uh, checking out an R pod let's go ahead and we'll jump onto the inside all right guys so we're on the inside of this 2020 R pod 171 and as you can see we're looking towards the front of the unit up here you'll have a four person dinette so you can fit four adults on this comfortably and if needed it can also uh, make down into your second sleeping area if you've got a grandkid or a couple of grandkids that are going to uh, join you uh, as you can see down here you have your two pet friendly bowls that come with every R pod um, that's kind of a neat little thing that they're doing uh, to cater to the dog and cat owners out there Spinning around back this way, this one has the uh, optional 28-inch TV. So uh, not every R-Pod has this, but this particular one does. And as you can see, you have your uh, cable and power outlets up there, as well as a couple of light switches. One is for the interior lights, and the other is for the exterior lights. All right. So over here... You'll have a couple USB ports, an electrical outlet, and your tank monitoring panel as well as your water pump and water heater switches. Uh, now normally I break these up, but this one is really small, so we'll just cover everything in one pass. So as you can see down there, there's your uh, furnace. Your breakers and fuses are back over there as well as your propane leak detector. And if we go ahead and open up some of the storage, you'll notice good little bit extra storage down there underneath the sink. Nice chunk of divided uh, shelf storage there. And then you'll have three full extension plywood box ball bearing drawer guides, uh, drawers. And then you'll also notice this is the lighter interior uh, colors as well. Coming up top here, you'll have your media center, so it's AM, FM, and Bluetooth. There is HDMI and USB ports there, and then this control here is for your interior and exterior speaker selection. And then right above that, you have your pre-wire for a port or for a roof-mounted solar panel. Um, you could also do a portable panel if you wanted to. Um, this one though has the pre-wire for the roof mount. And then over here, you have great extra cabinet space. Um, lots of room for extra pantry items and, and things of that sort. Thermal foil countertops. So basically what that means is this edge is sealed here. So if you are you know if you spill water or something, um, it's not going to hurt it as much. Another electrical outlet, by the way. And then they went this year to a rounded sink, which is awesome. I really like that versus a square. And then over here you've got your two burner cooktop. That is a propane cooktop. All right, down underneath here, bit wow, a big storage down there. That's huge for some of your pots and pans and things. That's awesome. And then right here, you have access to storage underneath the bed. I know it's kind of hard to show you that, um, but we'll also take a look at that from the outside. This particular one has the 3.7 cubic foot fridge freezer combo. So uh, you'll notice good size uh, uh, refrigerator space for a small trailer. And you do have a removable freezer pocket there as well. And then right here you do have your convection oven microwave. I know I've got some uh, paperwork covering it, but uh, it is a convection oven. So that works as both an oven and a microwave. And then net storage above here, which is really cool for some of your uh, bigger items. This one has the 13,500 BTU ducted air, con or, uh, 
non-ducted air conditioner, I should say. It is not ducted uh, in this small of a trailer, but this will freeze you out. It is uh, huge for this size of trailer. And most of the competition that's a little less expensive is using a smaller 11,000 uh, BTU AC. Here's your thermostat for that AC and furnace right here. And then people always ask me what this is. And basically, the way that works is this is a little clothes hanger deal, um, which is kind of neat. You know, the, in small campers like this, uh, they typically don't have a great spot for hanging storage, but at least they gave you that. And then back in the back, you have your 60 by 74 camper queen bed windows all the way around it so you'll and uh, pardon this box that's just some of the extra goodies they send from the factory that we haven't installed yet you'll notice every window has pleated nightshades um, and then lastly let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the bathroom so this particular model has a what they call a wet bath wet bath uh, for those of you who are not familiar with it it's shower toilet and sink all in one if you're looking for a dry bath, uh, check out one of our other R-Pod videos uh, on the 180. And uh, I think that one will uh, uh, give you a little more bathroom space than, than this particular one. So you've got your shower pan here, nice little curtain to cover off, uh, to close off the door. And this is all an ABS plastic, so it's not, it's not going to hurt to get wet. Uh, they, you've got your foot, uh, your foot flush levers, uh, toilet there. And then you've got your little sink with hot and cold water, shower head, and you have your bigger fantastic vent fan. So this is uh, basically, that will be a whole house vent fan. So you can really get open some windows and get some uh, airflow through here if it's uh, too cold to run the AC. Okay guys, let's go ahead and uh, we'll jump back to the exterior and talk about some of the features there. All right, guys, so we're on the outside of this 2020 R-Pod 171, and we'll go ahead and we'll take a few minutes and talk about some of the exterior features. Starting up front here, you'll notice you do have a propane hookup right there. That's really easy to miss. Uh, so if you have an exterior grill or something, you can hook that up right there. Rails for your battery back underneath here, uh, right in front of the diamond plate rock guard. Single 20 pound propane tank. You can upgrade that to duals if you wish. And then you've also got a uh, power tongue jack, um, which is really awesome, especially if you're using a weight distribution hitch, uh, since you don't have to sit there and crank it for days. And this one will ride on a two inch hitch ball. Um, so it's a little bit smaller than some other travel trailers. Uh, but it works just fine. Looking up top, you'll notice it's a gray exterior fiberglass. And our pods, they use a one piece sheet of fiberglass from the uh, rock guard all the way over the roof and back down to the rear, uh, rear corner. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna eliminate seams that you have to take care of. Um, or as many seams, I guess I should say that you have to take care of and it, it it's going to last a little bit longer than some of these tpo and, and rubber roofs out there that the competition is using coming on the along the door side you notice you have stabilizer jacks on each corner they're manual uh, but you can use a uh, cordless drill or something to run those electrically if you want notice the little frog decal uh, this is the 10th anniversary edition so that's neat uh, every year the frog's always doing something different and then uh, you do have a friction hinge entry door so this will stop wherever you put it and it uh, will not slam on you dual steps they do have the grip tape on there and they are aluminum steps larger entry assist handle some of the smaller campers are not using that you also notice uh, right here underneath the model number sticker, this particular unit and all the R pods are built using a composite panel instead of wood underneath the fiberglass called Asdell. Asdell is, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with it yet, uh, it's a waterproof, mil mold proof, and mildew proof composite material that uh, will prevent delamination. Uh, 
on your on any particular unit that has it underneath the fiberglass. It's really a superior construction method, um, and it's one that our pod has gone to. Right here, you'll notice your black tank flush and a uh, exterior power outlet if you need to plug in a griddle or crock pot or something. And then you'll notice your uh, this is a single axle. It's on 15-inch tires. And that does have the five plus two plus one year tire warranty. Um, so five years against defects, two years roadside assistance, and 12 months no questions asked replacement guarantee on your tires, which is awesome. And as you notice down there, you can kind of see it right there. You do have a leash latch, so you can hook up your or a leash connection, just so you can hook up your four-legged friends if you bring them with you on your camping adventures. This does have dual exterior speakers, as you can see. Those are controlled via the multimedia center on the inside. And then back up over here, you'll notice you've got some storage. This does have the magnetic catches. Plenty of, of exterior storage. And that does kind of go back up underneath the bed more too, from the, so you can access it from the inside. Um, but like I said, plenty of exterior storage. This does have all LED tail and marker lights too, by the way. And uh, you'll notice your spare tire back here. You can take that off and uh, put a R-Pod specific bike rack on there. Um, you can't have both uh, at, at one time, but uh, if you're interested in that, learning a little more about that, uh, let me know in the comment section below. Here's the other side of that storage compartment. So it is pass-through storage. Your six gallon gas and electric DSI water heater. So that that's really gonna um, give you a quicker recovery if you're in a campground, which is awesome. Here's the back side of your fridge and freezer. You got an outside shower, so that's basically hot and cold water. Your fresh water connection and your city water connection. And then up here, you'll notice your 30 amp power as well as cable and satellite. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for the 2020 R-Pod by Forest River model 171. Uh, if you're interested in this particular travel trailer and you have any questions or comments about it, please feel free to put those down in the uh, comment section below. Uh, if you'd like pricing and availability, um, please feel free to give us a call at Custom RV at 806-335-2336. You can also email us at contact at custom-rv.com. Uh, you can also view any unit we have in stock at, this, at the time this video is posted at uh, www.custom-rv.com. Uh, before you go, if you would, if you enjoy this video, hit that thumbs up button for me. That would be greatly appreciated, and it lets us know that uh, that you're liking what we're putting out there on on the internet. Uh, also, if you're uh, new to the Custom RV Amarillo channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, that will uh, let you keep up to date with all of the new and used inventory that we. Uh, do walk around tours on. Again, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Um, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to uh, me or any of the other staff here at Custom RV. Um, thanks again for watching, guys, and have a wonderful rest of your day.